Is there anything that you didn't get to say this weekend? No, you know we we um, you know we went through we went through a number of periods of of time, and and I think for for me it's I can say it much less emotional now because it, you know you're not in the middle of the competition and and the people and but it's been a great ride and yeah. you know I think um, a, a, as you as you look back at everything and and you kind of analyze everything, I've been very fortunate to have a lot of success and experience a lot of things. Um, uh, along the way and I think the the part that I'm looking forward to the most is being able to walk in the racetrack and look around because I've walked in there for so many years with my head down thinking about <laughs> how am I going to go fast today what do I need to do yeah. today where am I lifting what do I have to do and I know I'm going to have I know I'm going to have things to do and and uh, everything that goes with the, with the tv side of it or the management group or, or whatever but it's there's really nothing that'll that'll ever be the same as sitting in the seat and having that competitive mindset and in there digging every week with yeah. with the teams like like that. But I, you know, I think um, we did it how we wanted to do it. Really, you know, after we got through 2001, um, everything else had a purpose. Everything else had a plan. Everything else was intentionally pretty much done. Yeah. And. You know, I think going through the the last season and doing it the way that we did it, we're very fortunate that we had the group of people around us, um, Jess and and her whole team uh, at Stuart Haas Racing. Jess that Smith, did, yeah. yeah, she did all the all the social media and and everything that that went with um, the last year. Like it would have never looked like that if if she and her team weren't there because they just did they did an amazing job of of trying to accomplish the goals that we set out, and that was telling a story of 30 years, yeah. Um, being respectful to Stuart Haas Racing and RCR, and how do we leave being able to walk in every person's trailer and have a good relationship with, with everybody here? And, you know, I think, we, I think we're able to accomplish that. It's a big responsibility when you think about it. If you're going to take that on, you got to do it right. If you don't do it right, you're exposed. And that, I think they did it uh, extremely well because that is a big responsibility. Uh, to, to tell that story – or yeah. recap that story. There's just so much, there's so many layers to it. Here's one thing I want to get your response to. I, I think that there was a lot of emotion beyond just you and your team. Um, and if you get into the fans, there's a, a lot of emotion about your retirement. And I think it's because you do represent a, a little bit of the last of the old guard, right? Mm -hmm. I, I saw a statistic, and I, I'm assuming it's correct, um, that you were the last full-timer that raced in the pre-chase, pre-playoff era, right? Um, and so now all, all the full-timers, um, they don't even know what it was like before 2004. Um, and it's like, dang. And, and by the way, it's inevitable, right? We could all agree. It, it's inevitable. But it also sometimes reality just kind of stings a, a little bit. Yeah. And it's like, man, I miss the old days, man. I miss the Tony Stewart and Harvick and Dale Jr. and everybody. Me, the, the, you know, and, and this – I felt emotion personally just because, I mean, I know you, I like you and all this stuff. And I, when I'm seeing you and Delana and, and, and the kids crying, and then now all those big softies that have kids going to cry. But the fact is, is that I think a lot of fans, even if they're not Harvick fans, yeah, can appreciate the fact that we're missing something now with you gone. Do you, do you, have you been able to confirm that or pick up on that in the way fans have interacted with you in the last several weeks? Oh, it's been all year. All year. Yeah, and I and I think um, it, it, this year was this year was good for me too because it, it made you remember that there's way more to what you do than just driving the car. Like you mean a lot to people in ways that is different to pretty much everybody. You know, it's it's the it's the stories that come with the the person who had fighting cancer or the person who was struggling getting through COVID or it's the, you know, the person who sat and watched with their grandpa when you won your first race or whatever that story is, they all had a story. And, and yesterday I flew home commercial, I think with half the crowd, uh, in, in the airport <laughs> and I heard, but I heard a lot of stories and, and, and those people that, that got the nerve to come up and say something were all from somewhere different. Yeah. You know, somewhere from Connecticut and somewhere from California and some were from Texas and yeah, you know, but that's been that way. It's been that way all year. And, and you, you start to realize, man, this is, this has got a pretty far reaching, um, 
touch on on people in 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 their own way and we 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 i i wouldn't have done this year if, but if it wasn't for the people uh, the way that we did it marcus smith was a big part of of doing it the way that we did this and and even tony and his group were like hey here's the things we didn't do and one of them was all the things that we did right it was we didn't get to work with jgr we didn't get to go back and touch on a number of different paint schemes we didn't get to go back and and tell some of the stories that we wanted to tell so we listened to that advice and i i don't think we i'm sure we could have done it better but i don't i don't i don't know what else we could have done because we put a lot of time and effort into every single week for the most part uh, of a paint scheme or a helmet or number um something that we went back and looked at or paid tribute to um there was i mean we went back and made fun of uh, the situation with joey logano and um, all those different situations we tried to to come up with as many things as possible that we knew the fans would wrap their arms around because that meant something to a joey logano fan or that meant something to a chase elliott fan or that there's meant something to it i mean there's a connection in in 100%. so many so many ways and we tried not to hide from any of it and i was like man this is not how i would operate but it's not it's not about me yeah it, it really wasn't about yeah. it wasn't it wasn't about me it was about so much there was so much so much more to it than just me driving the car mm. I think you and Biffle could have recreated the Bristol thing. That would have been one thing. Like you could have <laughs> yeah. jumped in, tried. But Biffle was in. He was in some of the videos, right? I know. Like so, they incorporated. There, there was reconciliation. I don't think that you were looking for reconciliation because you probably have done all that years ago. Yeah. But there was for fans. For fans. Yeah. That's a hundred percent true. And what you should do is you should have Jess come in here when you have another one of those business segments and and just be talk about. Because I'm old enough to where they had to go back and find pictures that weren't digital. So, <laughs> <laughs> and in NASCAR, NASCAR, NASCAR did a great job of, um, like I I go back and and to California Speedway when we did all that stuff with the with the Spears car and, oh, yes. and the and the West Championships and the helmet and everything. Like they had they had video from a cameraman on pit road that was just for whatever reason filming my car, and he got every freaking lap. Uh, filming our car and he had the green flag he had checkered flag he had victory lane and it was just you know going back and and finding all that stuff and and we just put together um we just put together a um a little display for the for the hall of fame that'll go in next month so it's got all my championship cars well uh, winston and his whole gang came over to the shop well my mom saved everything so i've got championship jacket from first go-kart win i've got replicas of the first go-kart i've got all the championship the championship car from the cup series is still completely intact rick had rick had all the had him save all the engine parts it's got all the original parts pieces engines confetti uh, we restored richard gave me the the xfinity championship car i've got the iroc you know so you've got all this stuff and and we finally were at a point where we could where we could put it all together and share it but that that piece at the hall of fame will be it'll be pretty cool to see all that stuff in one spot you're dang right um yeah i saw somebody wrote down a list of drivers that have retired in the last handful of years and i'm like that's the whole field from like 2002 <laughs> yeah <laughs> no. like all the all of the drivers <laughs> um Man, I uh, appreciate you giving us some time today. This has been I've fun. Enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm, it's therapeutical every time I come here. It is nice. Yeah. It is nice. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, you know, the um, the normandy of your career and the actual retirement season and the final race uh, is still really fresh on everybody's mind. But I can tell you that I'm looking forward to seeing you in the booth next year. I think everybody in the industry and all of our fans are excited about that and um what you will become and continue to do how you'll learn and find your way in this new sort of chapter of your life it's going to be great for nascar i know you'll always continue to be an asset for them um the best advice i got is uh in the booth is it's never as bad as it feels but it's never as good as it feels either yeah there's somewhere in the middle right yeah. so you'll have and you'll find those wins and losses right you'll be competitive uh, with yourself and and with ratings and all those things and you'll get out of there one day and go man i didn't do it that day or i didn't have a good this or that um and and uh you'll you'll be judge judgy and analytical of yourself but um 
I, I wish you the best, man. We're going to continue to work together on the Cars Tour. We'll, you know, be seeing each other at industry functions, and, and it's going to be great because a lot of these guys, man, you, they retire, and you just don't see them anymore. They Not just, me. They just quit going. Yeah. So I'm, I'm glad that we're, uh, we're still going to be able to see you quite a bit. Well, I appreciate it, and it's, um, you know, it's, it's going to be – it's going to be fun. And mm-hmm. that's the part I'm looking forward to because our sport is, I mean, it's great. It's everything about it is, is for the, when you're not on the competition side is pretty fun. And, uh, I'm looking forward to in, enjoying all that and, you know, working with, with Fox and, and golly, I don't know how I'm going to control Boyer though. That, that'll I don't be, know how you're going to control Boyer. That, Nobody does that. That's going to be, that's going to be a challenge. You're probably the only person that I can think of that could actually keep him in between the lanes. Yeah. Well, when when he when Richard pulled him out of the body shop, somehow I got volunteered to uh, to take him all over the country with. You know, so I went to every test that he did uh, the first year, and we we taught him how to race. I watched him crash his first car at Texas, and I back remember. it into the wall on about lap, lap about lap six or yep. seven. Um, so he he's he's been there, done that too, and and I think uh, <laughs> I think it'll be. It'll be a it'll be a very entertaining. Yeah, I think would be the the best way to put it. So I think you're you're awesome at that job. I've watched you, uh, you know, do the work you've done for Fox already in some of the events, and you're you're natural and and seasoned and ready to rock and hit the ground running kind of thing. So, I agree. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm I'm ready. I don't I don't know about I'm I'm ready to rock. I don't know about the rest of it. Well, that's yet to be determined. Um, but. The great thing about what what I'm getting ready to do with Fox is they've let us do this for, gosh, it seems like ten years, mm-hmm. uh, up, up in the booth with the Xfinity races mm-hmm. and and everything. It's almost like we had free training to 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 get to the point of of having a, a second job. So, yep. um, I'm sure it'll be more work than just showing up, though. 